Hello, I'm Dr. Jean-Marc Slack. Uh, I just wanted to send out this quick message because there's a lot of fear about coronavirus right now. COVID-19 is the official name. And I want to uh, tell you a couple of things. Um, first of all, there is no reason to panic about it. It's a highly contagious virus. However, it's not unlike many viruses your body has already encountered. If you have a healthy immune system, you have nothing to fear. That's really the bottom line. For the great majority of people, as we understand this new uh, virus, people are exposed and experience nothing. That's the great majority of us. We will run into this virus not even knowing it ever happened. Our body will just take care of it. For a small portion of the population, it'll be like cold or flu-like symptoms. You are not afraid of the flu, and you should not be afraid of this either. For a very tiny percentage of the population, mostly people whose immune system is not as strong as it, as it needs to be, it's going to give, make them actually quite sick and maybe they possibly, they possibly could die. The science right now is still changing. Um, mortality rate are fluctuating depending on who you read. And the reason for that is because no one really understands happened so fast. No one really understands how quickly it spreads, how many people have really been infected, and how many people are actually dying from this. So what is the death rate? No one knows. From, you know, twice, three times that of flu, or maybe a fraction that of flu. If you're not afraid, if you're not changing your habits because of flu, you should not be afraid or change your habits because of COVID-19. Um, simple tips on how to uh, make sure that you actually stay free of it. Number one, wash your hands. Soap and water is still the standard, the gold standard for hand washing. Soap and water, better than uh, Purell and stuff like that. Um, the other thing that is really important is that you do not bring your hands to your face. Don't rub your eyes, don't pick your nose, don't put your hands in your mouth. This is going to actually bring the, you know, the, the virus into your uh, body. Make sure you're well hydrated. If you have mucous membranes that are wet, nice and moist, your body will be able to uh, effectively kill off the virus before it really enters uh, any tissue. So drink up, stay hydrated, make sure your mucous membranes are moist. If you need to uh, blow your nose, if you have mucus in your nose, blow it out, don't sniff it in, don't swallow it. Blow it out, blow your nose, bring, this, bring the garbage out. That's really important. And that's the message I wanted to give you, that there's really, you know, there's no reason to, uh, to, to take extreme measures at this time. There's no reason to panic. And there's no reason to alter the way we do things. The, the, the unusual component about this virus is that you know, it's a long incubation period and most people don't get sick, don't even know they have it. So they spread it to other people. But you know what? We'll get through this. The way we went through H1N1, we went through all of the other bird flus and you know, every once in a while a, a scare. I think we just have so much media out there that we hear more about it. And it's sensational and makes people excited. It's sales news. So, right here in Burlington, get adjusted because that brings your nerve, your immune system function up. So, number one thing you can do that I forgot to tell you, most important, get adjusted. So, eat well, stay hydrated, wash your hands, don't put your hands to your face, get adjusted. I'll see you soon.